All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the whole for elect. And this is just a follow up on touching how Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, and the angels have never rebelled against the Heavenly Father. We're going to start at the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 3. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called from called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. So the sanctified ones are dealing with the prophets, the ones that were that were sanctified through the truth. OK, it says sanctify them through the truth. Thy word is truth, roughly paraphrasing. So these are the holy prophets to go to the highways and byways to preach. The words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. These mighty ones are dealing with the holy angels, whom the heavenly Father have called for His anger. All right. So when you deal with the situation of uh, let's go back to Sodom and Gomorrah. These angels, all right, their task when they went in there was destroy. Uh, you know, was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But, you know, the Lord had it to where it happened, where um, they went to go get um, Abraham's nephew Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah before that place was destroyed, which, you know, uh, they did get him up out of there. And then Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. All right. And the angels, they rejoice in the highness of the Lord. All right. But see, that's just one example dealing with the whole Sodom and Gomorrah matter. How the Lord will use the angels to do specific things. And also people as well. But that's just something I wanted to uh, you know, point out. Um, let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 103. And I pulled this one out in the last lesson, but it's very relevant. It's the book of Psalms 103, chapter... We'll start at verse 19. It says, The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens. And his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. See, everything does the will of the Heavenly Father. Everything on the earth. The sun, the moon, the stars, the sea, the animals. All the creatures, including, uh, including people, all right, because we're considered creatures as well. But everything does, everything um, does what the uh, does the will of what the Lord wants done. That's the point. So now, let's get into further of dealing with these angels. The book of First Kings, <clears throat> chapter twenty-two. So we're gonna deal. It's a lock here for the noise in the background. So it's the book of First Kings, chapter twenty-two. Let's start at verse. Um, 19. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is dealing with King... Is it Ahab? Right, King Ahab. So these are angels that are going to persuade King Ahab. Right? Now check the story out. This just shows you how the angels and everything is incomplete. Uh, control and order that's under the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. Everything is under the order and guidelines of Yahweh, Bosh, you know, Shai. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 22, verse 18, it says, And king of Israel, and the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. And all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. So you got the angels on the left hand side. You got the angels 
on the right hand side. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one said on this manner and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. So you had angels. You know, they were speaking to the Heavenly Father. And they were saying, well, look, I'll persuade him this way. Another one said, I'll persuade him that way. All right. Verse 22. And the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, basically, how are you going to persuade Ahab? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So, you know, he liked the, uh, you know, that plan, the plan that the angel had. And he said, you know what? I like that. Go do that. Execute that because this is what I want done and this is what's going to happen. Verse 23 says, now, therefore, behold, the Lord had put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these, all these thy prophets. And the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. That leads me to the book of Job. Let's get this real quick. The book of Job, chapter 12, verse 16. And this is talking about the heavenly father. It says, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his so the people that are deceived and even the deceiver now you see how this angel is going to put this lying spirit in the mouth of all the prophets of ahab who is the one controlling all this the heavenly father verse 16 again it says with him is strength and wisdom the deceived and the deceiver are his he leadeth counselors away spoil he maketh the judges fools he looseth the bond, bond of kings, and he girdeth their loins with the girdle. He pleadeth princes away spoiled, and overthroweth the mighty. He removeth away the speech of the trusty, and taketh away the understanding of the age. He poureth contempt upon princes. He weakeneth the strength of the mighty. He discovereth deep things out of darkness, and bringeth out the light, the shadow of death. He increaseth nations, and he destroyeth them. He enlargeth the nations. And straighten them again. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causes them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grope in dark without light, and he make yeah. make of them to stagger like a drunken man. So this is the Heavenly Father. What you see this is complete control. Okay, this is complete control that the Heavenly Father has. So this is leading us back to the book of First Kings, chapter 22, verse 23. Now, now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil concerning thee. But Zedekiah, the son of Kanaah, or Kanah, went near and smote Micaiah on the cheek and said, which way went the spirit of the Lord for me to speak unto thee? And Micaiah said, let me see. When the cheek and see, but Zedekiah, the son of Canaan, went near and smote Micaiah on the cheek and said, Which way went the spirit of the Lord for me to speak unto thee? And Micaiah said, Behold, thou shalt see in that day when thou shalt go into an inner chamber to hide thyself. And the king of Israel said, take Micaiah and carry him back to unto Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son. And it goes, you read further down and ultimately what happened to Ahab, Ahab was destroyed. Okay. Ahab was taken down. So when it talks about these angels, as he told him to go forth. Be a lying spirit to the prophets that Ahab was going to win this war, okay, or win this fight. What a lying spirit, you know, uh, told him to do so, but he was deceived. And what happened to Ahab? Ab Ahab went down. Well, going back to the point, it was all sanctioned 
by the Heavenly Father. So that's the point of the lesson. This is just another one showing you, you know, or just another lesson showing you that angels do not rebel against the Heavenly Father, but they're hearkening to his word. So with that, Lord willing, I hope it was that edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.